where we are at, at the intersection of Wabera Street and City Hall Way, just in front of the Supreme Court of Kenya. Here is a place that saw a lot of drama just uh, several hours ago, if I can say, where you saw crowds chanting and a lot of lobbying of uh, tear gas. But now it is quiet. This morning, at the 27th of June, uh, Thursday, it looks overcast here, maybe perhaps showing the mood that things are despondent. As you can see, this is just uh, the situation right now outside the Supreme Court of Kenya. No activity at all. We can still see the evidence of the destruction that was seen here, where protesters were able to breach the precincts of the Supreme Court. We can see one or two pedestrians walking on the road here. Uh, it's not like in the earlier link that we showed you where we saw a lot of Kenyans. That was uh, downtown. Here we are what uh, Nairobians like to call uptown, where there's not usually a lot of activity. There's usually a lot of government buildings. There's a few uh, offices of uh, uh, foreign companies and so on and so forth. Uh, what you are seeing right now are just remnants. And I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. The street is still colored pink. Uh, pink, a testament of the kind of, you know, the kind of battle, if I should say, that was going on here. The pink is thrown all over. Nothing is paired. Trees, electricity poles, security camera poles, pavements, the road itself covered with pink which is actually the, the high-pressure water that was... The high water pressure that was being ejected from the water cannons here. We are seeing several parked on the side of the road, but still, nevertheless, uh, pedestrians are still going on about their business, as you can see. We still have a few commuters making their way into town. We are seeing uh, some businesses that uh, probably were watching us and uh, trying to gauge whether they should come and open. But we are still seeing very, you know, popular joints, very popular eateries and restaurants are still closed. Uh, of course, uh, you can see one of the most famous uh, uh, retail, uh, retail uh, chains here, Kafo Market, is closed. It's one of the supermarkets that was damaged during the protests uh, and looted as well. Uh, we also saw a lot of, when we were coming to this particular street, as we made our way from archives area, the famous bus stop at Kencom, we did see a lot of uh, county uh, staff, uh, the cleaning staff from the uh, Nairobi City County, just trying to clear a lot of the debris still uh, that were strewn all over the street. And I can tell you, if you were here that day in the evening, the kind of clutter that was here was a lot. It looked a bit apocalyptic. Uh, what we can see also here at Nwabira Street, we can see the one of the water cannons. We counted about 10 as we were coming here, just packed all over town. One of the water cannons just blocking the way, going into the Macmillan Library, if you know Nairobi City very well. Uh, this particular water bows are blocking that street. Yes, uh, the road is still open for traffic, except uh, that one is uh, partly closed. You'll see a few cars just trying to push through there. Otherwise, the other lane that is inbound towards Macmillan Library is closed. Uh, moving on to the side uh, of City Hall, where we did see part of it uh, being raised uh, by fire, uh, the building itself is uh, mostly intact, and uh, you can see a few people just walking past it. This part of town is very eerily quiet, I can say. It's very eerily quiet. It's cold. People are just walking very slowly here. People are minding their own business. Uh, you can see a part of the damage that uh, befell this particular building, which is one of the oldest buildings in this capital. We can also still see a few emergency vehicles just making past. We are not sure if they are carrying anyone or if they're just doing rounds or what they are doing, but you can even see emergency vehicles. This particular one you're seeing belonging to the Red Cross, just uh, making its way through town, a sign that uh, everything seems ready for any eventuality. One thing I also have to just show you is the security contingent that is based here, just here at uh, outside the Kenyatta International Convention Center, 
We are seeing security personnel camped outside with their security vehicle, just getting ready for anything. We've seen this all over town, by the way. Uh, we did see a lot of these trucks strewn all over town with groups of security personnel just manning the streets and people minding their own business. No one is coming to provoke them or anything like that. People are just keeping vigil here, just walking about their business as it were at this point, at this time. Meanwhile, the rest of town, as we've seen, we've been going through town now. We've been to archives, Kencom area. We have been to the side of Standard Street. We have been to the sides of the famous Moy Avenue neighbors where we have that 24-hour supermarket. It's closed. It's unprecedented. This is a supermarket that is always open 24 hours a day, but today it's closed. But we do see a bit of activity. It's getting um, to the afternoon and therefore probably Kenyans will probably want to come and check out the area because probably there was some apprehension that it's a bit too early or a bit... Uh, they were taking just caution uh, to come into town. But so far, this is what we are seeing. Um, and uh, we'll be here to just give you a bit more updates of what is happening and the status of the people, the sights and sounds of what is going on here. Back to you.